I'm Russ Graney. I am the CEO of Aiden, which is a web-based referral management tool that hospitals use to discharge their patients to nursing homes and home health agencies. Um, but I'm actually not going to talk a ton about Aiden today. I've actually been asked to talk a little bit about innovating with data and healthcare. Um, so I'm going to offer, kind of humbly submit to you all, three what I would consider fairly obvious truths um, that have really guided us on our path to building Aiden over the past two and a half years. So I'll start right at the beginning of Aiden, which for me was about two and a half years ago when my uncle was being discharged from the hospital and needed to choose a nursing home. Hospital staff couldn't tell us which providers were better than others, and this list of post-acute provider names, phone numbers, and addresses is all that they gave us. So using this information, we just chose the provider that was closest to home. And as a result, my uncle didn't have the best outcome, and I'll, I'll come back to that. But what I want to focus on here is kind of obvious truth number one, which is that in stressful moments, patients are making decisions based on whatever they have in front of them. And we really need to be aware of that. So we were given this list. The obvious next step for us was, oh, I guess we're supposed to choose who's closest to our house. And that's what we did. Um, so obviously, what we need to do is, as we're starting to bring data into the world of healthcare, we need to ask ourselves, what are the moments in the process where decisions are being made? And what's the relevant information to present to folks to help them make the decision we want them to make? So for example, I'm pretty sure that my uncle's hospital discharge planner didn't want us to choose the closest nursing home. Because I know that hospitals have a tremendous readmissions penalty now, and they need patients to choose the best quality nursing home for themselves. But for some reason, that wasn't communicated to us in a really easy, direct way. So we went down the wrong path. So when we started building Aiden, we said, OK, great. So this, this is easy. All we need to do is find data and present it to patients at, at this moment when they're making this choice. And it turns out there's actually, we were just, Brian was just talking about this, there's a lot of great data that's already out there. Um, there's nursing home compare, there's home health compare, two Medicare data sets that are publicly available and readily accessible. Um, but there was, there was an additional wrinkle in the problem here. And so this kind of obvious truth number two is that all of the data isn't the right answer. So the problem with, with having a patient just individually go to these websites and kind of learn on their own is that for any individual patient, 80% of the information is completely irrelevant and possibly misleading. So if you're looking at this list, this is just a sampling. There's about 100 uh, pieces of data that one can look at in looking up a home health agency as an example. And for a patient who, let's say, is choosing a nursing home to receive wound care services from, they don't want to base their decision on how well that nursing home performed with diabetic patients or Alzheimer's patients that might actually lead them to the wrong facility. And so what we need to do is help patients get the right information in their hands. That's hard to do because they don't really know what's relevant, what's not. And, and indeed, even if we had the time on the hospital side for discharge planners to sort through this and kind of do all the math every time, that takes too long. This is already a really lengthy process. And a big part of what Aiden does is actually cut out a lot of time. So we needed to build a way to be able to present patients with patient-specific quality information at scale and instantly. And that's why you need technology, and that's why we're all here. So what Aiden does is kind of filters through that information, summarizes it for each individual patient, and then helps them see the data that's relevant to them. And then the last obvious truth that I want to talk through is, and we all know this, but it's that a lot of people who have innovated in the past have solved one person's problem. And that's a, that's a great step. That's 80% of the way there. And, and for hospitals, the problem is we need to get patients to quality post-acute care. We need to speed up the discharge process. The problem is, is that just solving those problems actually doesn't, doesn't really do the whole piece. And the piece that was missing in the world of discharge planning and in post-acute care was really twofold. One was the patient, which we've already talked about. The other was the post-acute provider. So I want to ask everyone to kind of do a quick mental exercise. Pretend that you are the CEO of a nursing home. And I want you to remember that paper list of phone numbers and addresses that my family received, that patients all across the country received today. If you were the CEO of a nursing home, you would be pretty upset 
that the only information that your prospective customers had about you when they were choosing where to go was your phone number and your address. That would lead you to do what a lot of nursing homes do, which is buy a lot of billboards and get vanity phone numbers and pay for radio ads, so that when people were looking at that really boring list, you would somehow stick out. But that's not really where we want nursing homes dedicating their energy. We don't want a massive marketing team at a nursing home. That doesn't seem like the ideal use of resources. So this is the profile of providers that Aiden patients receive today. So hospitals that are using Aiden present this information to their patients when it's time for them to choose where to go. And you'll notice that, yes, there, there's a lot of quality information here. Um, but there's also some stuff that has nothing to do with quality. There are some pictures at the bottom. There's an introduction from the provider. There's a summary of what services and amenities they have to offer. And the reason that we did that is really twofold. Um, the first reason was that patients wanted that information. When you're going to a facility, yes, you need to know about the quality information, but you also want to know what it looks like and what it smells like and what other patients say about it. So that's important for patients. But the real reason, the really important thing that we did here was we actually provided post-acute providers with an opportunity that they've never had before to communicate with patients and communicate with their prospective customers so that they can put their message out there. And the deal that we make with them is say, hey, we're going to give you direct access to the people that you need to talk to right when you need to talk to them. But you're still going to compete on quality. And at the end of the day, how you're doing with your quality and your outcomes is what patients are going to use to make their choice. And this additional information is kind of put in its proper place now. And so as the slide kind of jumped ahead to a little bit early, it's really important when you're innovating to not just solve one problem, but to solve all the problems and to make sure that everybody is getting something out of the solution. And again, fairly obvious truth here, but, but really important to keep in mind. So this is my uncle. And when we chose a nursing home that was closest to home, he was one of the one in four patients that are readmitted back to the hospital from post-acute care within 30 days. And when he was readmitted, and it was time for his second discharge, I spent three days online, on the phone, on the road, gathering information about area providers. And that work led us to better care that kept him out of the hospital ever since. So I look forward to speaking with more of you and learning about the amazing ways that you are innovating in different parts of healthcare. And I'm happy uh, if folks want to come speak with me, feel free to drop me an email or find me later today so I can share a little more detail about how Aiden has re-engineered the discharge process to ultimately improve the quality of care that your loved ones one day will receive. Thanks so much. Thank you.